Hey guys, it's Bear. It is February 26th, 2019, and I just wanted to kind of check in and give you an update. Um, I had spoken recently about the fact that I finally met my goal of enlisting in the United States military, um, and time is moving really, really quickly as I'm actually getting ready to ship out soon. Um, and it's just totally wild. So this whole process of enlisting has really been a roller coaster. I, I have spoken before about that roller coaster of emotions. Like, I hate that term, but it is actually really fitting. Um, this process was so difficult and, and frustrating. Um, as far as waiting and watching, um, I heard that the ban was going to get lifted back in 2015, and like as early as 2016, I started talking to my recruiter, um, and we started getting things ready. Like there was no guidance really at that time as far as like what paperwork you're going to need, what kind of letters you're going to need. Now, um, as some of us have been going through this process, there's there's a lot more guidance and. Um, you can actually uh, download like templates for letters for like your doctors to fill out and your surgeons and stuff like that, which is really great. I didn't have that as I was going through this process. I was just sort of like, like I said, working with a recruiter um, and going back and forth, you know, uh, with my medical documentation and stuff like that, going up to, to MEPS and getting rejected because they needed more information or like they'd see something in like a a document and be like, well, we want more information about that, and then going back to a doctor and stuff like that. It's just like the process took a really long time. So, and then, you know, it, there's also been a lot of um, difficulty sitting here and watching, um, you know, the ban kind of got dragged out uh, as far as it getting lifted, and then now there's like this kind of thing hanging over our heads of them like trying to. Um, you know, reinstate that ban, uh, and the the process like it's just been just been really wild and frustrating and difficult, but then also really exciting, you know. And so there's just that like up and down of things like okay, this is gonna happen, and your paperwork cleared, uh, and you get like really excited and you start getting stuff ready, and then you know oh no, hang on, there's there's another issue, and they want to see more documentation on this or you know, whatever. Um, and then you're kind of like, oh, again. <laughs> so that roller coaster of emotions, uh, it's, that's definitely an applicable term. So that's all done. And it's, it's awesome. You know, I actually, I, I cleared, uh, MEPS back in December of 2018 and I got my ship date for basic training. It's coming up really, really soon. And now I'm on this like totally different, um, path, you know, and it's just like <sighs> all the emotions, you know, um, as I'm like kind of putting all my stuff in storage and going through the list of like, you know, uh, put this payment on auto pay or like, you know, um, figuring out what to do like with my car and stuff like that, like, it, it's it's wild. It's really wild. I'm I'm super excited. Um, I'm I'm really proud to have gotten through to this point, and like I'm just beyond proud and excited that I'm you know I met this goal, and that I'm moving forward on this path that I have wanted to be on for so long. You know, I, it's it's overwhelming. It's it's so exciting and overwhelming that it's almost like, um, it, it, I I almost can't process it. Like people keep asking me, like, are you excited? Are you nervous? Like, you know, whatever. And it's just like, I don't I don't even know how to answer. You know, it's it's just so overwhelming. You know, that it's just like it's it's almost not even there. You know, it's it's, it, it, I don't know. It's it's really hard to put words to these feelings, you know, um, I don't think it's going to really be 
real until I'm like, you know, there at basic training, you know, um, and making the adjustments to like a totally different, um, you know, lifestyle and routine and everything. Meanwhile, uh, like I said, I'm working on getting all my stuff kind of like sorted and getting rid of like a lot of stuff, you know, while I put, you know, things that are necessary into, into storage because I'm going to be gone at training for like at least six months before I come back or before I move my stuff and get like stationed or whatever. And that's bizarre too, you know, like it's not just moving, you know, moving is stressful and it's a lot of work and whatever, but this is actually like trying to decide, you know, do I need this thing in my life? And it's like, well, I don't know what my life is going to be like. So that's, it's a really difficult process, you know? Um, so that's, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I've got my, you know, my last, you know, couple work shifts coming up and then I've got a little bit of time to, to finalize my move and then I'm off. So that being said, uh, I won't be online for a little while. Uh, I won't be able to do any videos for some time and I don't think I'm really going to have time between now and shipping out to, to really do any more. So this is kind of like me signing off for now. I do intend to get back to doing YouTube videos and it's going to be very different because what I'd like to do is document my time in the military as a trans person um, because I'm one of the first people to get in. And I know that plenty of people do YouTube videos on their experience in the military, so I know that that's allowed. Um, so I'm I'm hoping to get back to doing that. I just don't know when that'll be. So you won't see me for a little while, and that's why. So that all being said, um, I just want to take a second to thank everyone in my life and all the people that follow me on YouTube uh, for your positivity and your support. Um, it means more than you'll ever know because it's not an easy process. You know, transitioning is the hardest thing that I've ever done for so many reasons. And everybody's support over the years has been huge. Getting online and documenting everything, um, I did it for myself to be able to kind of go back and, and see the changes. Um, but also, you know, I did it for other people. Um, other people's YouTube channels helped me through this process and so I wanted to turn around and do that for other people and I do get people reaching out to me um, and asking questions, asking for advice and, and thanking me for, for documenting this stuff and um, that means a lot. It, it means a lot to me that I was able to help others in that way, uh, that others helped me initially. <laughs> Bad sentence. Um, so yeah. Thank you for, for everything, for your, your positivity, your support, for reaching out. Um, thanks to the people who follow me, um, who are my friends in, in real life, who take the time to watch these videos um, for the education or just because they want to keep up with like what's going on. Um, and then, you know, just side note to all the, the haters who like, you know, thumbs down the videos or who comment on them and stuff like that. Um, or, you know, the haters that uh, I get kind of trying to bully me uh, online in other, like, avenues like Facebook or, or whatever. It's just, like, you're not hurting me. Um, you're not hurting my feelings. Um, basically, the only reaction I have when I, I see somebody, like, trying to bully me um, or leaving, like, hateful comments, I'm just like, is this really what your life is like? You know, do you have, like so much negativity in your your heart that this is what you need to do to let it out like you need to go online and like try to bully people and like I, I don't know I don't get it <laughs> so to you guys um, get a life <laughs> you get, or find somebody else to, to bully because you're not like affecting me um, and most of the time I just delete the comments or I'll I'll, I'll reply just because I don't I don't even know why I waste my time with it. So that being said, again, thank you so much. Um, and 
I'll I'll see you soon.